This is Val, guys. Welcome to 2017. In this video, I want to do a quick review of Dimension Theory's Iridian's Pro Series HDRIs uh, Photo Studio, uh, which is a 16K uh, HDR map package. It includes four maps in three various resolutions. So you got Studio Backdrop uh, with direct lighting, then you got Backdrop Soft. Uh, it's a little bit. This it's the same scene, but it's a little bit different, you know, uh, setups. And there is a special uh, environment, two environments there. Um, excuse me. This is five, five different sets, right? One, two, three, four, five, five sets in three resolutions. So basically. Uh, the three are, are at the same pos you know position here, right in front. If I zoom out the camera, it's right in front of a giant uh, white whiteboard, so to speak, right? And there's the studio setting, and you can pretty much place your characters anywhere. And I love these uh, bulbs here hanging. It's a pretty cool backdrop. And um, so you got this one here. Let me just double click yeah that's the one so this secondary one it's pretty much let me just let it load here I'm gonna pause what is updating it kind of takes a while for these to load um, there we go so it's the same setting as you can see it's the same position but the lighting is a little bit different these bulbs here are not illuminated there's a little bit of you know different lighting here and there's no spots so it's just a soft lighting from kind of from above, right? Then we have when I turn on this one. This is the third one, right? And mark now I'm loading the 16K versions of them. I'm gonna be talking about that in just a second. Let me just update this. I'm just yeah, there it is. So as you can see now this is the slightly different um, light setup. The soft lighting here is not as strong and there is you know a little bit different setup there's a lot of spotlights hitting now from various directions so we got multiple shadows and all that so first of all because this is an indoor setting you know in the previous <coughs> video I was talking about HDR maps pretty much outdoor I think outdoor is w where these maps shine and indoor I find them rather difficult to use. Either there is too little space to play with or the lighting doesn't quite match. So so let me just you know show you here a little bit what I mean with that. Um, let me load the first one. Let me just go back here and load the first one. I'm going to just load the 8K version of it. Alright, so overall I find this a really nice package as far as lighting goes. It has pretty nice, you know, light options. As you can see, they look pretty decent, right? Uh, and this is, you know, straight render. There's no additional light whatsoever. In the scene, I have a distant light, but it's turned off. I'm gonna show you why in just a second. So basically, I find it easy to just get decent looking lighting. However, like I said, I find it kind of hard to make the light match the environment. And um, so, that, just as an example, let me move our model. And by the way, when you move the model, you wanna turn on wireframe or at least hidden wireframe because now you can move and just right click up here to rotate the camera you can move the model and it goes rather quick right because when you are previewing here in the video I ray and obviously this model has a lot of clothing and hair so there's a lot of polygons in there so it takes a while to update you can wait here a long sometimes 20 30 seconds for it to update uh, and I'm on a really fast machine so as you can see I'm, I'm running here a um, GeForce GTX 1080 
and I have 12 cores at 3.4 gigahertz so I have a really fast machine uh, but as you can see it takes a while for this to update now here's what I mean that it's a little bit hard to match you know the shadows because there is a lot of shadowing here long shadows right they kind of easily go into the walls and it's like you know a little bit awkward right so you again you're kind of limited where you want to be where you can be to avoid these shadows or you have to you know um, simply not you know catch them with a the camera or be in a place maybe here where you can truly you know benefit from the shadows but if you're close to the wall you will run into issues with some of these light presets and settings but as you can see right now I'm seeing that she is more illuminated than the backdrop and I have eye raise settings on every single surface so it's a little bit weird that she catches so much light but the environment doesn't it doesn't really feel exactly like she's really standing in there I know there was fall off and stuff like that but I've been in a real environment uh, I've been photographing m myself in a, in a studio environment for, for uh, over a decade and a half so I know how it looks and this doesn't quite look like it should so that's a small drawback but I like how the lighting falls on the characters so let me move now our lady see now if I move in this preview it takes forever now you have to update and wait for 20 to 30 seconds again so that's because I have a model with a lot of clothing and hair that takes a little bit off you know overhead <coughs> let me pause pause the video I'm waiting here alright good so uh, but you can see you can play you can use the environment both the white uh, the white you know backdrop and you can use uh, the uh, the rest of it right so what is this 4k and 16k thing well if you if you load this in 4k resolution you will notice that it looks rather great but if you zoom in a little bit you lose you know the sharpness and it kind of looks like you're missing out a little bit on the no resolution side of things right looks a little bit fuzzy and I don't think that's an issue because when you zoom in you usually have a little bit of DOF going on so it's not such a big deal but compared to 16k if I now switch to 16k I see a, you know I see a difference uh, it's gonna be more sharp and I'm gonna see more pixels and, and details but 16k from 4k that's quite a difference in resolution uh, that's like oh my god that's uh, that's a lot more data as you can see it's, it's a sharper sharper image right alright so so I think the lighting might need a little bit of adjustment it's not quite exactly catching uh, precisely you know um, how how the background really catches and there is some cameras you can load here uh, for instance uh, backdrop cameras and we can then go in here and you know bring them in here and we can reset the position of our model uh, hopefully she's gonna end up in front of the camera now let me just make sure she does and this particular model with the hair and clothing for some reason takes forever on my PC to just you know follow along here there she is. So uh, here she is, alright. So I'm gonna just move her back a little bit. Because I want that camera to catch her at the background. So here it is. So now we can do like uh, an NVIDIA preview and get, you know, the correct camera as it's, as, as it's intended to be here. So I'm gonna pause again. It's gonna take a while. All right, here we are, 
and again the model receives a lot more lighting than the background which is a little bit awkward right uh, like I said it's a great package but I just feel it's a little bit too much lighting on the character uh, and again I know there was a fall-off effect but I don't buy it it's not you know a fall-off effect isn't that much uh, especially when you know uh, there, there are spotlights here so um, let me go to uh, a different you know environment let me change that to uh, for the studio I mean choose let's take this one here let's use the uh, 4k versions because they are or 8k sorry because uh, they are going to be a little bit less no there's going to be less uh, power required this setting here is as you can see the camera is positioned a little bit further away so here we got this nice room uh, which is kind of limited again because it's kind of a, you know like two and a half meter then it's just a studio set and again if you take a look at the model here she doesn't really seem to belong there she receives so much lighting in her face and if you look here what where is the light coming from right uh, I mean she she cannot possibly get so much light from just this one here right so there's a little bit of mismatch what you can do and be and, and play with and even if you place her right here in the middle of this room uh, it's a nice setting let me just update I'm gonna pause while this is updating alright so so again I mean it's an, it's an you know, nice setting but once again I don't feel she belongs in the image I mean the, the, I don't feel the lighting is matching. The shadows are not are not matching. And if if you know you have to be die hard about where to place her, then you're losing the the entire you know fun of this package, right? So I just I just don't get the. Uh, uh, it's a pity because it's a nice package, but I don't feel it just connects as much as it should. Um, and just to show you. Uh, what I mean here, uh, just because before leaving this set, you got four lights you can add. These are mesh lights you can uh, add that will behave like the lights in here, which further you know can enhance how you light and so forth. Uh, which kind of defies, in my opinion, the HDRI map solution. For me, HDRI is loaded and forget it. I don't want to add any additional lights to it. Um, so it's kind of limited because it's hard to know how to position your model. I mean, if you start, you know, playing with the camera, you lose immediately, you know, the touch. <laughs> so it's it's very kind of confusing in this confined space. Uh, obviously, there are cameras you can play with, right? Now, just to you know, prove the point that other packages from Dimension Theory, if you go to um, the Real World HDR, which I did a review on, you know, in previous video. And for instance, let's do the uh, Mountain B setting, right? Uh, this one, it just feels like she's there, right? So let me just, uh, I need to reset her position. We got off the wrong foot. So where is she? Now the PC is working again. So for some reason this particular model is a uh, really pain to work with. It's a lot of waiting. Um, so there she is. Alright, and now we can just switch to the media preview. I just feel these outdoor, you know, packages which I was showing in in the earlier, you know, in, the, in the previous review, I think those are more easier to use, more versatile, and they also, it just feels like she's she belongs in the image. Like I said, it's a nice light setup in some of them in the indoor setting, in the indoor studio, you know, for the studio setting, but the lighting doesn't really match. So in here, 
just forgive my super slow it just feels like you know it, it just belongs there she belongs there the lighting is right the shadows are right it's it's a lot you know more precise in that way so let me just uh, move around her and go to the other side so you can see this just you know just a quick uh, comparison we feel immediately she belongs there the lighting matches perfectly no matter where I place her so that's what I mean um, I love the studio you know package it has a lot of cool backdrops um, I love the 16k that has great resolution but I just don't feel that they connect really with the background the lighting is is good looking uh, it has some cool options with the hanging bulbs that I could show you but I don't feel they connect really with the, with the background all right and if you still obviously want to get this package just click on the link below and that's it for this video guys I want to keep these videos as short as possible so we get a maximum um, you know maximum value and information in the shortest possible time so that's it for now and I'll see you next time